Hi guys, it's Miss Crescenzo again, back with another read aloud. So the book that we're going to read today is called Recycle Every Day. And this is written and illustrated by Nancy Elizabeth Wallace. So why don't we open up and get started. Recycle Every Day. Outside, it was raining. Inside, Mina was sitting on a chair singing, Recycle, recycle, recycle. Why are you singing recycle, Mina? asked Mom. The children at school have been asked to make posters about recycling. The ones that get picked will be in the community recycling calendar. I'm trying to think of a really different idea for my poster. What does recycle mean? asked Pip. Is it like a bicycle? Mina giggled. Recycling is when you reuse or fix things instead of throwing them away. Did you know we recycle all the time? asked Dad. We can help you with ideas. On Monday, they looked through their closets and dressers. I haven't worn this in years, said Mom. I really grew, said Mina. This never fit, said Dad. Look, Mina, I grew too, said Pip. They bundled up the clothes and brought them to the community clothing bank. Passing along clothes in good condition to, other, to others is a form of recycling, said Mom. This would make a terrific poster. I'm still thinking, said Mina. On Tuesday, Mina and Dad cleaned up the yard. They put all the leaves and grass and weeds into the compost maker. This will turn into nice rich soil for our garden, said Dad. And what a super idea for your poster. Mm, I'm still thinking, said Mina. On Wednesday, Mina, Pip, and Mom gathered up all of their empty cans. They brought them to the return machine at the recycling center. Scrunch, thong, scrunch, thong. What's happening inside that machine, Mina? Pip asked. The machine is squishing the cans. Then they will be made into new cans, she explained. Pip danced. Look, Mina, I'm doing the can-can. The can machine is a good idea for your poster, Mina. Mm, I'm still thinking, said Mina. On Thursday, Mina and Mom got their tote bags. They walked to the grocery store. In the cereal aisle, Mina pointed. There's a recycling symbol. These boxes were made from recycled paper. That means trees were saved. That's why we use tote bags, too, said Mom. Is our trip to the grocery store giving you any ideas for your poster, Mina? Mm, I'm still thinking, she answered. On Friday, Mina and Pip looked through their books. When I was a tiny baby, I liked this one, said Pip. The magic carrot patch, said Mina. That used to be my favorite. I must have read it a million times. Mina and Pip piled up seven books. They took them, too. Books for every bunny. Thank you, said Mrs. Libro. We'll give your gently used books to children who might not have any. Everybody needs a book. Look, Mina, posters, said Pip. Are you still thinking? Mina nodded. On Saturday, they had supper. When they finished, Mina helped. Wrap the leftovers. To reduce waste, use plastic containers instead of plastic wrap, said Dad. Will that idea work for your poster? Mm, I'm almost done thinking, said Mina. On Sunday, Mom asked, Isn't the art for the poster contest due tomorrow? Mina nodded. She began to sing. Recycle on Monday, recycle on Tuesday, recycle on Wednesday. Suddenly, Mina knew what she wanted to do. Mina gathered scissors, a glue stick, markers, and her pink polka dot pencil. She got out her box of used envelopes, old folders, and scraps of found paper, and she started to work. The next day, Mina brought her poster to school. Please, please, please pick mine, she whispered to herself. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday went by. Finally, it was the day when the children would find out whose poster had been chosen for the, ca for the calendar. Mr. Turner, the first selectman, spoke at the school assembly. If everybody does their part, together we can make the world a cleaner, greener place. 
And now, I have the pleasure of announcing the names of the artists whose posters have been chosen. January, Emily. February, Kyle. March, Carrie. April, Lexi. May, Tyrone. June, Timothy. July, Lindsay. August, Aaron. September, Lauren. October, Dave. November, Miguel. And for December, Mina whispered to herself, please, please, please. Vanessa, said Mr. Turner. Vanessa's poster shows us how to make a bird feeder by recycling a plastic milk container. What a wonderful December holiday gift it would make. This will be our best community recycling calendar ever, said Mr. Turner. And I want to close today with our cover artist, Mina. She even used recycled paper. Mina's poster tells us to re-re-remember, re-recycle every day. Say it with me. Re-re-remember, re-recycle every day. Everybody, re-re-remember, re-recycle every day. And that is the end of our story, my friends. So I hope that you enjoyed this story called Recycle Every Day. With Earth Day coming up, you could think about ways that you could recycle in your own house and see how you could reuse things and make things new out of something that's old. So bye, guys. Talk to you later.